What vertebrae has the largest vertebral bodies? Lumbar vertebra. What is the reason for that? Because they are responsible for supporting the weight of the body. Okay, here you have lumbar vertebra. Identify the typical and atypical vertebrae. This is a, a typical uh, lumbar vertebra. This is also a typical lumbar vertebra. And this is also a typical lumbar vertebra. And this is the atypical lumbar vertebra. Uh, the fifth lumbar vertebra. Get a typical lumbar vertebra and describe it. This is a typical lumbar vertebra. It has a large and kidney shaped body. This is the pedicle and this is the lamina. This is the superior articular process and this is the inferior articular process and this is the vertebral foramen and it is triangular. This is the spinous process and these are the transverse processes. What about the atypical one? This is the fifth lumbar vertebra and it is the atypical lumbar vertebra and it is it can be identified by the massive transverse process uh, that connects the uh, like the pedicle and it encloses the body. The transverse processes of other lumbar vertebra at its sole trip to the junction of the pedicle and lamina. Can you show us how they articulate with each other? These are the superior articular processes and these are the inferior articular processes. They articulate like this. What level is a lumbar puncture performed? At the level of fourth lumbar vertebra. What is the landmark you are using to identify that level? The summits of iliac crest. What is the level of termination of the spinal cord of an adult? At the level of first lumbar vertebra. And what about that level of a newborn? At the level of third lumbar vertebra. What is the germ layer which give rise to spinal cord? Ectoderm. What are the main branches of lumbar plexus? Subcostal nerve, iliohypogastric nerve, ilioinguinal nerve, genitofemoral nerve, lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh, femoral nerve. Describe the pathway of obturator nerve. Obturator nerve emerges from the medial board of psoas within abdomen it descends medial to the psoas deep to internal iliac vessels it enters obturator canal with obturator vessels and divides into anterior and posterior branches what are supplied by the obturator nerve it gives muscular branches to gracilis obturator externus adductor brevis adductor longus and adductor magnus is it the only nerve supplied to the adductor magnus no Hamstring part of adductor magnus is supplied by sciatic nerve. Tell me about the sciatic nerve. It is a branch of sacral plexus and it is the largest nerve in the body. It leaves the greater sciatic foramen distal to piriform. How can we surface mark the nerve in that region? It can be surfaced marked by a line curving downwards and forwards from a midpoint between posterior superior iliac spine and ischial tuberosity to a point midway between greater trochanter and ischial tuberosity. Tell me a medical procedure that can damage the nerve in this region. Badly placed intramuscular injections. What are the structures emerge through greater sciatic foramen superior to the piriformis muscle? Superior gluteal artery, superior gluteal vein, superior gluteal nerve. What are the muscles innervated by superior gluteal nerve? Gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. Tell me about their actions. When the lower limb is free to move, they abducts the thigh at hip joint. Okay, what's their role in walking? When walking, those muscles in right and left sides alternatively contract and tilt the pelvis. What happens when they are paralyzed in right side? The pelvis will sink downwards on left side. What is the name of that clinical sign? Trendelenburg sign. 